All right, guys. This is uh, Trigger 2.6.3. Uh, downloaded it on the Interstate. Flashed it. Uh, this is actually the first time I've rebooted uh, since I've gotten home with it. Uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, I really don't even know everything that's changed with this ROM. Um, I do know that it is the KB1 base. It's got the KA7 with Voodoo uh, kernel. Uh, it's enabled by default, so if you're coming from another Voodoo ROM, don't worry about disabling, you're good. Uh, it comes with a KB1 modem, which has been very, very good for me. My GPS, data, you know, all my, every signal, it, it's been really solid. Um, i trying to think of other things that stand out. I know he, uh, Burger Time has been working on the uh, theming of it. I know he's made some modifications to the icons, trying to make it look a little better. Um, frankly, I think it's beautiful. It's, you know, it, it is my favorite ROM. Um, any of you guys know me on XDA, you know, I've been kind of pushing this trigger. Um, it's just a really solid ROM. So a couple of things, it does come with the, uh, launcher pro. It also comes with the gingerbread launcher. Uh, doesn't look like that's really showing up very well, but the three, uh, launchers are there. Uh, I'll show you Launcher Pro first. This is how it looks when you boot up. This is uh, the default launcher, I believe. Um, let's see. My ad freeze won't uh, to do that. It does come with the Black Market. Go ahead and show you that while I'm in here looking at it. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and cut on Wi Fi. Maybe that'll help. Uh, you can see, you know, beautifully themed. It looks really good. Um, you'll notice up here the AM, PM, it's showing up, but there is an option to turn that off. You can toggle that off. Uh, the, you know, the market itself, you know, the black, I think is just, this is the way I think it should come from Google, uh, honestly. It's just so much better. Um, all right, so we got that. Um, Let's show you the gingerbread launcher. Some people may prefer that. Uh, frankly, I don't really like the gingerbread launcher. Uh, some people may. I know that you can touch down here and jump screens. And that's nice. Um, the launcher itself, maybe this is the main reason I don't like it. Whenever it loads up, uh, it doesn't, whenever you swipe, it just kind of seems like it's a, uh, not as responsive, it's slower. Well, apparently I opened Enjoyify. That's me, by the way. Alright, so try this again. Now that it's had some time to load, there we go. I mean, it's not bad, but compare, you know, this to what I prefer, which is ADWEX. And Sorry, me going back and forth with all these different launchers is the reason why it's taking this you know, a while for it to load up. It's absolutely not the ROM. The ROM itself is just gorgeous. Um, this is the wallpaper that the ROM comes with. Um, since this is what I usually use, I'm going to go ahead and change that. And honestly, you know, considering I just flashed this, <laughs> I know it looks a little slower, but considering it was just flashed, I think it's actually pretty solid. All right, that's more like my setup. And you can see down here, I've got the uh, icons set as text. Um, if you're not familiar, Widgetsoid is a great widget. You may not even be able to see that on this camera, but... I've got vertical widgets right there. You can customize them whatever you want. You got folders, blah, blah, blah. Open map drawer. I'm going to give it a second to load um, just because going back and forth to different launchers. But ADWX is absolutely just night and day different from the Gingerbread and Launcher Pro, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this as my default. All right, so. With ADWX, you can also do the swipe gestures. You know, I've got a hidden dot bar also. You can put those icons down there. 
Um, let's see. I really wish this came in clear. It's just, he's done, Burger Time's done such a great job with this. It looks really pretty. Um, let's see. So let's go to the settings menu. Uh, really good job with the icons. Love the color. It's nice to kind of get something other than black. Um, all right, let's see here. We've got mobile AP, tethering, that's in there. Um, if you go to display, you've got the different lock screens. There's one, two, three, four, five, six to choose from currently. Uh, puzzle lock's the default. And I think it actually looks really good. I love, you know, how they change that up. Looks good. Um, I'm going to press home, go back to my settings. All right, I'm going to change it to the Star Wars. I think this is a pretty good one, too. I don't know how well that's showing up for you, but um, but my favorite, and I always change it to this one, it's going to be the Rotary. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Whitehawk did this, and he did just an awesome job with it. Uh, I don't know if you noticed you know, the, the arrows there. It's pretty smooth. All right, so we got that. Let me go ahead and change my timeout while I'm doing this. There. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to touch on while I'm in settings. Uh, about phone. All right, I don't know if you can read that, but it does say trigger 2.6.3. Um, as far as you know, benchmarks, I know a lot of people care about that. Uh, quadrant, I'm getting anywhere from 1550 to 1640, somewhere in there. Um, for Linpack, 14.4 seems to be about average. Um, one app that they do include, which is really nice, this app called Bloater. It's got all the system apps. And you can't read this, I imagine, but all it says is uninstall or install. And it's got all the system apps. So for people who like to have certain things or remove certain things, uh, this app they include called Bloater is a really good way to do that. Um, let's see here. While I'm looking through things I might need to show you, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything, they, other things they include. Um, They do include all the like toolbox tools, the info from Samsung. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably use those apps. Those are useful. Um, they do include the swipe installer uh, as opposed to swipe. So if you have a uh, swipe beta, um, all you need to do is just go to swipe.beta. You can register if you're not currently, but it's a really easy way to get swipe. And it's, uh, in my opinion, the swipe that they include uh, for the installer is a lot better than the swipe that's stock. Um, it, it is, in my opinion, better. So, let's see. Got swipe installer. I know that's a little different. Some ROMs just include swipe. Um, I did include uh, this app. I've downloaded this one myself, the Voodoo Control app. That's for Voodoo Sound, and the reason why this is the only options I have right now is because the kernel included with Trigger, it's just the stock KA7 Voodoo kernel. Uh, strongly encourage, after you've got your ROM up and running, go back to XDA and try Sonique's ROM, or not ROM, Sonique's kernel. It has Voodoo Sound, um, the Voodoo display, uh, and I'll be honest with you, it is so much better with the Voodoo sound, and the display is a lot better also. Um, it just, I don't know, it, it actually surprised me how much I enjoyed it. But, uh, I think I've hit on most of it. Um, you know, I think you can kind of tell that the ROM itself is just, it, it's crazy fast. I haven't had a single force close since I've been on Trigger for about a month now. Um, it's just solid ROM, and you can check it out on XDA. You know, search for Trigger. Burger Time's a developer. A lot of uh, themes are coming out for it, so just give it a try.